so in this lecture we will be discussing the next pattern or the next type of pattern and if we are wanting to delete the pattern what we have created we can click on the in the model tree and we can just right click it we can either select delete or delete pattern so if you're selecting the delete pattern we will be having the parent geometry what we have created at first and if we are deleting by using the delete everything gets deleted i mean we will not be left with the parent feature or the instance what we want to model it i mean we want to pattern it clear so i'll just undo and i'll just delete the pattern because i want to explain the direction pattern using the same block so i'll just select the feature which we are wanting to pattern and we can select the pattern option over here also i mean this is a shortcut instead of going to the main ribbon and selecting and by default i have mentioned you the dimension pattern will be selected we can change it to direction pattern right now so for direction pattern we have to select the direction in which we want to copy it so most commonly we can select a plane right so if you remember that we had the parent feature over here and i want to pattern it i'm sorry i want to pattern it on the right hand side okay so i'll just select to I'll go and select a direction and I'll just select the plane which will help me decide which will help me to decide the direction of the pattern okay and after selecting the plane you may observe that I'm getting a dynamic view I mean I'm getting a dot over here which is corresponding to the member which is being created using the direction pattern so if I'll just change the number of members to 5 and press ok you can see that the block has been copied or patterned we can also alter the dimensions between them by using the spacing text field presently the dimension is 15 units or 15.52 i'll just change it to 30 we can also use the drag handle for varying the spacing between each of the blocks so this is the first direction and if you're wanting to pattern the existing pattern, we can do that as well. So I'll just select the pattern and I'll just pattern the pattern. Uh, I'll just go to direction and let me pattern it on the right side. If I'm just calling it as Y axis. Okay. And presently I'm just getting one member. I can add more members to it. I can vary the distance or the spacing between them with the help of the text field or by dragging the handle. I'll just press OK and you can see I've patterned the pattern. So there are two patterns under this. The first one is the X axis what we have created and the second one which is visible in the model tree is the Y axis. The direction pattern is quite interesting. I mean it is very simple to use. We have to uh, basically select the plane and we have to assign the direction in which we want to pattern the geometry clear and uh, we can also alter the dimensions for example if you want to alter the height we can do that thing as well I mean like what we have seen in the dimension pattern the same commands can be applied under this but generally when we are using the direction pattern we will not be required to alter the dimensions if at all it is required we can also alter any of the dimensions and i'll just try to alter the length you can see it has been altered so the dimension pattern what we have seen in the previous videos that can also be implied in the direction pattern let us move forward and discuss something else 